Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about how to position and collimate for your lateral abdomen radiograph. Just like with the thorax, right or left is going to be determined by your veterinarian. They may want both, one or the other. We're going to place our patient in lateral recumbency. We're going to use our positioning devices to keep our sternum level with our spine. Um, our edges for our collimation are going to be our greater trochanter which you can feel all of her joints and bones. If you have to, you can move. So her greater tro trochanter falls about right here. And you want to be about two fingers width below your xiphoid process. So her xiphoid process is right here. Her last rib's right here. Two inches down is about right here. That also equals out to be about her ninth rib in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit for her. And that should be just about right. You're going to want to make sure that you take the radiograph on full expiration, and you're still going to want to extend her legs forward and backwards, depending upon whether it's your front leg or back legs that you're handling. So she is actually in her proper position for an abdominal radiograph. One of the things you want to keep in mind is she's actually small enough to fit on this radiograph. If she was a larger dog, you would possibly have to take, well, that's not going to work for me. You're going to have to take the cranial aspect of her abdomen and then her caudal aspect of her abdomen. Um, and that would be what you need to do for positioning and collimation of your lateral abdomen.